Hi, my name is Min. I'm a photographer from California, and my specialty is capturing architecture, lifestyle, and just beautiful moments that's all around us. So here we are in a community college, and I think this is a great place for us to find some amazing locations and unexpected things. So what I like to do is usually just, you know, walk through and just observe the space. It's not necessarily taking any photo yet. I can use my iPhone and just capture um, little snippets, little vignettes that I see. Usually I don't pay attention to the entire building, but just the smaller moments within the structure or within the space that speak to me. It could be the light, it could be the shadow, it could be small compositions that just uh, strikes an interest. So let's just go and see what we can find. I think this building is really interesting. It has amazing line and angles, and I think this could be a, this could make a really great image. For example, if you take a typical shot, it may be looking something like this, but if you zoom in and you, if you isolate the elements and just focus on those angles and lines, you get a totally different, more graphic image, such as this one. And you can also pay attention to smaller details, such as the light and shadow. For example, this bench here, it's very sculptural, and I think that could be very, very interesting. So pay attention to things that are large scale as well as smaller, look far and look close. I use my iPhone a lot to sketch before I actually do a shoot because it's just a quick way to test out different compositions without committing to a full frame high res image. It's just much more flexible and nimble as a tool. I think by going up, you get a whole new different perspective. For example, you can see the larger space. And as you get closer, you can isolate the, the elements into fewer elements and it becomes more graphically strong. I think I'll come back here and do a shoot, maybe with a model. And I think it'd be a great image. I really like this angle because it's really dynamic of these diagonal lines. I think diagonal lines always make your image feel a lot more exciting and alive. So I feel like this strong diagonal is going to really make the image more, more impactful. Especially, I'm going to introduce the model walking through the space to give the sense of scale. Also, just to give it a sense of story. This feels like it could be a train station or it's like a scene of a movie. I mean, you can play all the scenarios in your head, um, create a storyline. And so I think this character could be like something that you could add to make the image more exciting. I'm using a zoom uh, lens here, a 2470, that allows me to take in quite a large image. However, I'm going to get, bring it a little closer, just make this dynamic diagonal shape as the main element in the photo. And I'm going to have um, the model walk through this element there. Yeah, I think that's cool. I'm just gonna have her stand there, just to give a more moody feel. And I feel like sometimes when the subject is just standing there and having this kind of tranquil moment, it gives a really nice, calm mood to the image. Really nice. I'm also going to capture the image without the model. One of the things that I think that makes for a very interesting image is you don't have to always have the focus of the frame in the center of the image. You can shift the focus to the side and use more negative space. For example, this. So instead of focusing on the object or the building itself, you can focus on the connection, like how the different materials meet, how the edges of the building meet something else. It could be the building meets the sky, the building meets the ground, but that, that connection is a really interesting thing to focus on and instead of the, the object itself. So I think I got some really interesting shots here. And so let's see what we can find at another location. I immediately saw this very strong diagonal line in the building. And it reminds me of this famous photograph by Fan Ho, this photographer from Hong Kong. He had this amazing image from the 50s that has this very strong dynamic diagonal line. And I feel it captures the idea that this ephemeral shadow is almost like a physical architectural feature. That's really a great thing to think about. Even though they're just ephemeral and changing all the time, you can treat it as a physical feature and, and play with it. I'm gonna have our models do a very strong walk to, yeah, toward the shadow side. Yeah, I like that. And I'm gonna have her come back again and interact with the line as if it's like a, so I'm gonna have her kind of like maybe doing some sort of things like this, like lean, touch, just, yeah, just like doing fun things, but try to create a moment that's 
And that's how you sort of interact with uh, a shadow element and create something interesting. We, you know, when I'm traveling, I don't have a ton of time at a location. So obviously I have to be prudent about my time and just focus on the angles that I don't really, really want to capture. I don't take a ton of images either. As you can see, I only shoot a few images and I don't just kind of spray and pray as some people use it. And just really pay attention to my composition and really take a moment and compose and, and slow down. And, and so you can get that image in less fewer shots. You can also lean your head to one side, kind of like, yeah, just like really, really dreamy. And maybe drop one elbow, drop one elbow further. Yeah, create a beautiful shape. And just kind of direct your model to kind of create some, something different, something iconic. Yeah, that's great. All right, I think I got it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.